Scientists just discovered the largest black hole ever. Shocking news. The space have for millenniums baffled humans with its endlessness. It's always been the home of humanity's most unimaginable fears. Even though we've become the most technologically advanced civilization we know, these fears remain and are getting even bigger with the latest discoveries. One of the most fear-inducing discoveries have, by far, been black holes. And to fuel our fear of them, scientists have recently uncovered a black hole of unfathomable size using a completely new technique. How big is this black hole and what is this new technique that scientists have used to measure it and most importantly, should we fear it? Join us as we take a look at the darkest corners of the universe and explore a secret that should have been left uncovered as scientists just discovered the largest black hole ever. The cosmos was and still is almost completely unexplored. Its endless darkness has been the topic of many speculations, myths, and legends that have been plaguing humanity since the dawn of time. No matter what we did, and no matter how hard we tried, we've only managed to catch a minimal glimpse of it all. Black holes are among the least comprehensible phenomenons known to man. They've been the stuff that nightmares are made of ever since they were first described by John Mitchell all the way back in 1783. Albert Einstein's theory of gravity, which was completed in 1917, was the sole basis of modern black Black hole research. A black hole is, by definition, a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light can escape it. In principle, any object can be made into a black hole by squeezing it into a tiny enough volume. Under such conditions, the object proceeds to collapse under its own weight, crushing itself down to nothingness. But the object's mass and gravity remain behind in the form of an extreme space and time anomaly, which is in turn considered a black hole. What's even more interesting is is the fact that the flow of time slows down the closer you are to a black hole, and once you're in its imminent presence, time almost completely stops. Furthermore, time and space are both destroyed at the center of the hole, making black holes the opposite of creation. In space, black holes usually form once a star dies and then collapses under its own weight. People have been searching for proof of a black hole ever since they were defined back in the 18th century. Since then, and the first time a black hole was actually detected, was in 1964 when a NASA sounding rocket recorded celestial sources of X-ray. This black hole was named Signet X1 and info about numerous other black holes came soon after. To make things even more eerie, black holes are completely invisible to the human eye. They can only be seen by equipping space telescopes with special tools. In fact, the first authentic visual record of a black hole was taken for the first time in 2017 and was a photo of a supermassive black hole, one of the biggest known to man at that time. However, scientists have recently found an even bigger black hole using a completely new technique and the discovery of its sheer size completely horrified them. How big is this black hole actually? The newly discovered ultra-massive black hole has a mass that equals the mass of 32 billion suns. Can you imagine a body so huge and so dense? Can you even imagine what kind of destruction can it induce to whatever comes close to it? The black hole is so enormous that its event horizon, the point of no return for both light and matter, equals 1300 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The ultra-massive was located at the heart of a galaxy in the central region of a massive galaxy cluster named Abel 1201. This cosmic monstrosity has been found by James Nightingale, who is one of the most renowned astrophysicists at Durham University. Nightingale is the lead author of the project and study that found the ultra-massive. He stated that this particular black hole is by far the biggest one ever detected, and he also believes that it might be one of the biggest ones in the entire universe, as it's on the upper limit of how large we believe black holes can theoretically become. The team of astronomers discovered the black hole during their observations of a galaxy located farther away from Earth than the one centered around the ultra-massive black hole, which used the gravity of the foreground galaxy to magnify the background object, which allowed them to utilize a completely new technique that granted much higher levels of precise measurements. What is this new 
technique that they've used to measure it. The technique utilized is known as gravitational lensing, and it's the result of gravity bending the light around extremely massive objects. This is, for all intents and purposes, nature's own telescope, and gravitational lensing frequently helps astronomers increase the magnification of objects that are too far away to be properly visible to human-made telescopes. Gravitational lensing allows humans to observe and study black holes from a distance while maintaining high levels of detail and accuracy. This is essentially the breakthrough that astrophysicists needed to take the next step in uncovering the secrets that black holes hide, as we can now find hidden black holes much easier than before. Nightingale and his team managed to calculate the size of the black hole by analyzing the magnification of the foreground object in a series of images that were taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, which were combined with sophisticated computer modeling, allowing the scientists to simulate how much light bends around the foreground galaxy where the black hole is located. Apart from the size of the black hole, what is more interesting is the technique used to measure the black hole's mass. The mass estimate of black holes is usually determined by either examining and researching the motion of stars surrounding it or analyzing light from gas accretion around the black hole, both of which are fairly common and standard methods used in astrophysics. This time, however, Nightingale and his team utilize gravitational lensing to measure the mass of the ultramassive. Gravitational lensing is rarely used to measure the mass of a black hole due to its complex nature. However, when utilized, it allows for much more accurate measurements. In fact, the discovery of the ultramassive's mass was groundbreaking because it demonstrated the power of gravitational lensing. It also marked the first time a black hole's mass has been measured without the need for a central image. So not only will we be able to find black holes easier using gravitational lensing, but we'll also be able to measure them much faster too. Furthermore, gravitational lensing will, as a superior way of observing them, aid our understanding of the way that these enigmatic objects function, and the horizons that gravitational lensings will provide us will be the driving force behind our further conquering of the universe. However, before we start our explanation of the universe, we should answer one last question. Should we fear this black hole? Fortunately, no. There are no reasons to fear this black hole specifically, as it's located in one of the galaxies of the Abel 1201 galaxy cluster, which is extremely far away from our galaxy, the Milky Way. Speaking numbers, the black hole is located 2.7 billion light years away from Earth and the solar system, and we shouldn't therefore fear it, and it won't harm us in any way, shape, or form. Plus, even though it's significantly larger than any other black holes we've ever found, the black hole is not actually very active, which means that it's not swallowing a huge amount of matter, which therefore means it isn't producing a strong X-ray radiation. The thing that should scare you, though, is other undiscovered black holes, as this just scratched the long-lasting itch of how hard black holes are to find. If a black hole of this size required so much time and effort to be discovered, can you even fathom what kind of technology and effort smaller black holes are required to be found? Just imagine how many black holes are out there, hiding in the eternal darkness of the universe, completely hidden from humanity. Furthermore, all stars are destined to die, and once they do, they'll collapse on themselves, inevitably creating numerous tears in both space and time. It's just a matter of time until the entirety of the Milky Way and even the entire universe trades its stars for black holes, making it riddled with space anomalies. Thankfully, you don't need to worry about our own star, the Sun, turning into a black hole, as it's far too small to turn into one. Not only that, but the majority of stars will never actually turn into omnipotent and omnipresent space anomalies, as, just like the Sun itself, they too won't be big enough for. However, what's not so cheering is to hear that we would have probably been better off if it turned into a black hole, as once the sun dies, it'll turn into a red giant that will completely swallow both Mercury and Venus, and it'll scorch the Earth completely. On a more positive note, this is expected to happen in about 5 billion years, which gives us enough time to explore both our galaxy and the entire universe and find a different, habitable planet to migrate to. In fact, Mars has evidently been a great start for humanity, as we can see that it shows huge living potential, and every major space company has had a hand in making structures that could allow life on the red planet. Still, with our extremely limited technology, black holes out of all space anomalies remain the most perplexing one, as we still don't know their way of functioning. Some people believe that whatever enters the black hole will be swallowed by nothingness forever, and the energy matter that it's made of will be lost irreversibly. Others believe that the black holes serve as a gateway into different inexplicable universes, completely alien to humankind and reason. Some believe that extreme gravity will completely destroy any matter before it even comes close to the center of the black hole. None of these things are, nor can be confirmed, as we cannot do a direct experiment to find out the inside of the black hole. No information can ever get back out of a black hole, which is why
why scientists search for them so that they can study black holes from the outside and develop theories that can more confidently predict what could possibly be happening on the inside of the black hole. This is why exploring space and exploring our universe needs to proceed, as we might be getting information that is completely unfathomable to us. We might open the doors to unimaginable horizons and frontiers. However, before we even consider further explorations of our magnificent universe, we should first uncover the long-forgotten secrets that our own planet keeps tucked away from us in its final frontier, the ocean. In fact, Elon Musk himself announced a sighting of a megalodon, which has been noticed by his research team. If you'd like to learn more about the reappearance of the greatest predator that ever roamed our planet, be sure to check out this video.